Greetings one and all, this is Rhythmworks and welcome to my channel with some more Far Cry 4 single player story mode action style -ly 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 -ly. Now the one thing I love about Far Cry is that there is not one permutation in how to play the game, in how to play the campaign. There's different ways to play the game to achieve your own personal experience and pace of the game. Now for me, personally speaking, I like to complete the outpost liberation and the tower liberation missions as soon as humanly possible because by doing that we'll expose more of the map and then once I've exposed the whole map then I can do all the separate side missions and collect all the loot as humanly possible and in my own time and do it more meticulously that way so for me that is the way how I like to play it but I just want to um, give a tutorial which is simply called Tag, Snag and Bag. Tag the enemies, snag the alarms and bag the outpost. Now if you're in a situation where I've just played where you can tag an enemy and you can snag an alarm, do that by all means. But if you can't do that, if, if you can't see the alarms to snag with a sniper rifle, just try and tag as many of the enemies that you can humanly find. Because once you do that, it'll be such of a benefit to you because if you don't, even though you might tag like a couple, that's not really gonna help you because you might go for the two or the three or the four that you, that you tag, but there'll always be one creeping around somewhere that you haven't tagged. And chances are is that that person would have gone for the alarm and would have sent the reinforcement and you will get your ass ripped up if you're not careful but if you're happy with going in and running and gunning that's fine but if you want to go in undetected more time you're gonna to have to play in the way that I'm describing and in the way that I'm playing right now so tag snag and bag simple rules to follow it'll be much easier for you to do Okay, so as you can see, I'm just trying to locate the second alarm. Now the simple sign of the alarm's location is looking for poles with the tannoys on top of them. Once you see those, you just pan down, pan down the pole and you will see the orange box. And you just shoot that with a silenced weapon. Now I've got to give props to the level designers of, of Far Cry 4 because they're not making this easy at all with the towers and with the outposts. Because if you notice that when you liberate the towers, not one tower is the same. There's different ways to get to the top of each tower to liberate the tower. And I like that because it alleviates the repetitiveness and the boredom, I suppose. So I'm just going around, reconning at the same time, because I do not want to get any of these enemies spooked. Okay, he's on his Todd, so I can deal with him. Headshot. Okay, so in my immediate view, I can see that there's four enemies. I don't want to shoot him because I've got a heavy gunner walking straight up towards him. I can deal with this dude because he's right up there, but I won't. My priority is to find that second alarm. Once I find that second alarm, I can go in all guns blazing, take downs or snipe them out. I can do that at my leisure. But if I don't snag that alarm, with everything else that's going on around me, I could be killed by anything. A bear, a rhino, a hippo hippopotamus, whatever. Hippopotamus. I don't, there's no hippopotamus in this game. What am I talking about? <laughs> right, I've just shot something which vaguely looks like the alarm. It was yellow in color. 
but obviously from the lack of notification on the game's part to let me know that all alarms are disabled, it is clearly obvious that I have not shot or disabled that alarm. So I'm still looking, still looking. And this is the key, is patience. Patience is definitely the key. But don't get me wrong, there are some frustrating elements of the game where even though you're going ahead with your stealthiness, there's always something around you that is gonna get in your way, whether it be an eagle or a honey badger Somebody's gonna be biting at your freaking ankles to piss you off. <laughs> and you can't really deal with it with a sniper rifle, close range. So a good recommendation for a loadout is definitely the, um, the auto bow. I don't know if it's called the auto bow or the sub bow, whatever it is, but it's, a, it's an automatic bow anyway. There it is. Let me get rid of this one here. Okay, so that's done. And as you can see, all alarms are disabled. Now my job is to try and get as much of these guys off the face of the earth as possible. And there are three left. There's a grunt, a sniper, and a heavy gunner. All right, let me deal with the grunt first. Come on, step out. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's right, headshot. All right, so with all alarms disabled, there is no chance of them getting any reinforcements. And this guy's got a He's got a rocket launcher. Headshot. Mm, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So there's a heavy gunner there. And this is a classic example of what I was just talking about in relation to an enemy who hasn't been clocked yet. See? Multi-kill two. So there was one enemy there that I didn't tag. And there you go. There will always be one enemy that you haven't tagged. So it's of the greatest importance that you try and tag as many as you can. And then sort out the alarms. But if you can sort out the alarms beforehand, that's all well and good. But you must tag, snag and bag. But anyway, that's enough for me. Hope you enjoy this little short tutorial. And I will catch you guys on the next one. And until such time, whatever the console, media, game, genre, etc., etc., happy gaming, because that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. And until I catch you on the next one, Magan. Watch the rain.